Coding has changed my life. It's gotten me a great, well-paying job, provided me with a second income in the shape of this YouTube channel, and it's a fun and rewarding thing that I actually enjoy doing. Rewind to two years ago and you'd find a completely different version of me. A version of me you might be able to relate to. Back then, my world revolved around video games. Take for example one weekend where I was so absorbed in The Last of Us Part 1 that I didn't do anything else at all. I played from sunrise to sunset, completely losing myself in the game. The truth is that it felt awful. I was in a terrible state of mind and instead of doing something about it such as going to the gym, getting out in daylight or reaching out to friends, I decided to just play video games all weekend. And the worst thing about it was that I didn't even enjoy the game. It's a great game but I just couldn't enjoy it because of my state of mind. This was more than a year ago but I still remember the shame and general sluggishness I felt. Chances are if you're watching this video you've been in a similar situation and you've decided just like I did that it's time for a change. Since I've made these changes I've not had a single video game binge session so keep watching to learn how I did it. Do you have an addictive personality? Do you also like sitting at the computer and working? working on something, by yourself or with others, such as winning a game of League of Legends or completing a big build in Minecraft. Now here's where it gets interesting. The qualities that make you addicted to gaming are the same ones that can make you an excellent coder. Your ability to focus intensely, solve complex problems and even collaborate in team-based games. These aren't just gaming skills, they're coding skills in disguise. If you're still watching this video then chances are you're someone who's willing to work hard to make a positive change for yourself. In that case, click the subscribe button and the bell icon right now and let's start building this community together. One thing that worked for me and that might work for you is something I call intercept the trigger. This means that you must figure out what happens just before you start playing video games. This is called the trigger and for me it's usually boredom. I'd feel bored and then suddenly I'd find myself playing video games for hours. What if at that moment of boredom or whatever it is for you instead of reaching for the games controller you start coding instead. It's about recognizing that trigger, boredom, stress, habit, whatever it may be for you. Catch yourself at that critical moment and consciously switch gears to the right thing. So how do you actually get started with coding? The first step is to pick a language to work with. If you have a preferred language then pick that. Otherwise just pick Python. It's easy to get started and you'll make progress fast. Then watch at most three hours of video tutorials for that language. After that get started on making your own project. This is where you learn for real. I'll present some ideas for you soon but when working on this project you'll find that each problem gives you a rush, a sense of achievement not unlike the thrill you get from gaming. This here is the key to getting addicted to coding. That's why it's essential to not watch tutorials for too long and to actually get on with creating something of your own. You should watch this video after finishing this one for more depth. Here are three ideas for what you can create. I always recommend starting off with a text adventure game. You can build one with almost no experience or prior knowledge and it was the very thing that kickstarted my coding journey. This comment from a previous video and from my stepdad suggest coding something for your favorite game such as a helper, utility, website or something else. Once you're slightly more advanced though, go create a basic platformer game similar to the early Super Mario games. I personally done this before using Game Maker which is available for free. The goal isn't necessarily to quit video games entirely. Just like anything else that isn't dangerous or illegal, video games are okay in moderation. Even I play video games for a couple of hours every week and I love it every time. But it's when it goes too far and when you play for hours every day that's when a change has to be made and who knows maybe your next favorite game will be one that you've written yourself if you like this video the best thing you can do is to click like and you can subscribe for more videos like this once you've done that click and watch the on-screen video right now thanks for watching and i wish you luck